Feeling Ooh. good, sounding good, great audience. Friday, what an amazing Friday audience. There's nothing yeah. like a Friday audience. Right. Right here. I tell you, I tell you, there is a cri there's a crispness in the air right now that just, I already feel like the holidays are coming. Oh, yeah, yeah. What and you gonna get for the holidays? The ho what I'm gonna get for the holidays? I'm gonna get the book we made, Whose Boat Is This Boat? <laughs> Comments that don't help in the aftermath of a hurricane because... Because you know what right. you're going to do if you get this boat? You, yeah. you, you won't just get a book about right. a boat. Right. You will get the good feeling of doing good things for people in need because all the proceeds from mm -hmm. this book that The Late Show gets go yeah. immediately to helping people affected by Hurricane Florence and Hurricane Michael. Mm -hmm. So get the book and uh, get another jewel in your crown in heaven when you get there, there you everybody. Go. Number one book right now. Number one book. It just, I think, I read before I got it, we just knocked Tucker Carlson's book off of number one on Amazon. Number one book right now. Sorry, Tucker. And, but I will say this, I will say this, all of Tucker's money is going to charity, too. He just announced that. All of Tucker's money goes to charity, too. You're a good man, Tucker. You're a good man. Yeah. Now, one of the best things about doing this job is that I get to talk with some incredible guests. Like, recently, I sat down with Hillary Clinton, and whenever someone that experienced and that knowledgeable is in this building, my whole staff gets excited because everyone wants to ask her just one question. So I decided to let them do just that. This is The Late Show's Just One Question. Secretary Clinton, what is your proudest accomplishment as Secretary of State? Oh, it was just such an honor to work with the incredible diplomats uh, that serve our country around the world. Secretary Clinton, what's your favorite political movie? Probably Manchurian Candidate. The Rock or Vin Diesel? What a tough question. Boy, the Fast and Furious movies prove that both are masters of high octane action. And while The Rock is an indispensable part of the later films, Vin Diesel is really the heart at the center of the Toretto family. And in the end, everyone is better off when they're able to look past what divides them and work together. You know, I like to say, stronger together. You're a smart lady. Next question. Secretary Clinton, wow, uh, I have a question for you. I can't find my keys. Do you have any idea where they are? I'm sure they're around here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Wow. Thanks, Hillary. Hey, Hillary. What's the name of that guy? I can't remember his name, but, um, you know, the guy, he's so good in that thing. Tony Shalhoub? Yes! Oh, my God. I love him. Next question. Do you think the Democrats have a chance of taking back the White House in the next election? Well, I don't want to make any predictions about 2020, mainly because I'm saving those for my new book, What Will Happen? A Book of Predictions by Hillary Clinton and Paul the Psychic Octopus. You've accomplished so much in your career, from standing up for women's rights to health care reform to negotiating ceasefires in the Middle East. My question is, how do you install a toilet? I removed the old one, but I can't get the wax seal to line up on the new one. First, make sure you have the proper measurements from the back wall. <laughs> Next, you're going to have to remove the old wax ring. I suggest using a putty knife you don't mind throwing away afterwards and stuffing a rag in the pipe to prevent sewer gases from leaking in. Good luck and have fun. Thank you, I will. Okay, who's next? Hey. Hey. What's up? Nothing. Oh. Cool. Next. You know, I don't actually work here, but can I ask a question? Of course, Willie. Okay, let's say there's a certain activity that's technically against the law. Hey, sorry, you already asked your question when you asked if you could ask a question. All right. Hey, Hillary, what advice would you give to women considering a run for office? Well, first, make sure you have really thick skin. If you don't have it, grow it and get out and try. Hell yeah, I'm gonna go run. We'll be right back with Robin Ryder.